This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2004 Ford F-350 crew cab long bed. Obviously single rear wheel F-350. Um, uh, it is a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's a Lariat with it, which is leather. And it's the FX4 off-road suspension package. And this vehicle has extremely low miles, 89,112 miles, uh, actual miles. I'll show you the Carfax in a minute. Uh, it was a one owner vehicle. It was a trade in to Baker something, Chrysler in uh, San Diego. Um, beautiful truck. Anyway, we brought it here. We did an inspection. This is what the inspection says. My guys hand me the super low miles. We put brand new wheels and tires on it. Uh, we also did a bulletproof, a brand new bulletproof EGR cooler and Ford oil cooler. Of course, they say it again right there. Um, that includes new Rotella oil, a new oil filter, and new coolant. We also did number two injector. Uh, I'm told it was slightly weak. So while we were there, we did that. Um, it also has new sway bar links and a new steering stabilizer sh uh, shock. We repaired a tear in the driver's seat. The only issues this thing has, uh, because it's from sunny California, it's got some fade on the hood and on the roof. But I don't think that's going to matter. <laughs> All right. But uh, if it does matter, you could take it and probably get it fixed for, you know, eight or nine hundred bucks, the roof and the hood, if you cared. I wouldn't. But uh, anyway, I'm going to walk around the truck, show you that. See this? Just a little spot right there. And then you can see the roof around the front edge. That's from lots of sun, which uh, I think I'd rather have lots of sun on a truck than lots of rain and salt and snow and mud and everything else. So that's what you get with this guy. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll walk around. If I see something that, that you need to see um, and look closer at in the photo gallery, I will point at it with like I did the roof and the hood. Um, the point of these videos is really not to sell the vehicle. It'll sell itself. Uh, we don't have the uh, same pressure as a salesman does at a brick and mortar uh, where one person may hop in that vehicle all week or all month um, and you got to sell it to that guy or girl. Um, we'll have 800 to 1,000 people a day see this truck, so we don't have to do that. So we can just tell you what it is and, you know, someone may hate it, someone may like it. But uh, they'll all have good, the same information, good information, right? So let me see if I can figure out how to work this thing. There you go. As you can see, he had a camper shell on it, which, of course, makes it so that the bed looks fantastic. For some reason, he bolted this thing on. Maybe he used this as a bench to just sit on, a little bit of cushion there. I guess you could take that off pretty easily if you wanted to. Well... Alright. I will uh in a second here I will fire it up. We'll go under the hood. I'll take off the oil cap, we'll look for blow by. Um obviously there should be very little, if any, on this truck. Uh, but we do that on every vehicle so you can see for yourself. Um We'll walk around. I'll look for Ford stamps on the fenders and on the core support, which would tell you that it's all original stuff up there and that has been switched out. Let's see if I can shade this a little bit. 89,116 miles, okay? When we go for a drive, I'll pull over into the shade a little better so you can see the cluster a little bit better. The glare is really bad. It's supposed to pour rain like in a day and a half here, which is crazy, it's hot today. Ford stamp here on the fender, so you got an original fender. Ford stamp right there on the core support. Stickers where they belong. Ford stamp here. Should be another one right here. And another one right there on the hood. So everything up front is original. So got oil cap. That's beautiful. Zero blow by. That's magic right there. Low mile, well serviced, and now it's bulletproof EGR cooler and Ford Oil cooler. It's all good. Up and down. Door locks. As promised, I'm going to show you some paperwork here that we have. There's Kelly Blue Book. 
for a long bed F-350, single rear wheel, 89,000 miles. Typical listing price would be 19,514 with a range of 16,7 to 20, that number seems really low, especially now that it's bulletproof, but it is what it is. So there you go. Here's the Carfax for the truck. There's the VIN. They combine the uh, Kelly Blue Book basically and the history of the vehicle and they come up with a value of 19,760, which kind of jives with the uh, Kelly, except they don't know either that it's been, had the bulletproof VGR package done to it. So, all right, there's your uh, VIN. No accidents, no damage, one owner. We did this uh, Carfax about a half an hour ago. One owner, blah, blah, blah. North County Vista Ford in Vista, California. And it was an Oceanside getting service. Some more service, California. Everything's going good. Ba, 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 ba. The last time it was in California uh, with miles, it said 75,000 miles and it passed emissions on April 2nd. Here is the title. That was a California clear title. There's the bin. This was the, these are the people who traded it in. They traded it into Bob Baker or something. I think it's Chrysler Dodge Fiat uh, with 89,112 miles. Two wheel kinetics on October 30th. Okay. People like to see all the paperwork. We like to provide all the paperwork so that there's no drama. The best way to avoid drama is to show everybody everything, even if it's boring. See back, forward, up, down, tilt forward, down, tilt up, tilt down, heat it seat on and off. Very important to look at the bottom of the doors. That's where rust collects. If you're, especially if you're buying a Midwest vehicle, you always want to look right in there. And there's nothing there because it's not from a uh, humid climate. A little bit of a stain. Looks like somebody put something on the seat right here, just right here and here. We could probably dye that away. I think my guys missed that. It's probably. 20 or 30 bucks to dye that away. Perfect. That's beautiful. Nothing there. Window, 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 window. Mirrors, out, in, down, up. Other side, out, in, up, and down. Let's see. Heated seat on and off. Seat forward. Back, seat up, seat down, tilt up and down, tilt up and down. See, there's a little tear right here that got repaired. And see, tilt wheel, boom, that's fine. Up in here, get some air conditioning going here. Nice and warm, that's for sure. All right. First things first, moonroof. There we go there. Radio. Six disc player, radio works. Got some uh, adjustable pedals. Down, up. All right. Um, let's see, let me get here so you get some of this glare out of the way. This kind of sucks with all this glare. All right, there. Now you can see better. All right, so you got tow. See toe on and off. On, off. 
there you go. Neutral, we'll go to four low. Now it says four by four low range. You know to reverse. And drive into low. All right, neutral. Go to four high, so low range goes away. Go to reverse. Go to drive. Perfect. Neutral, now we're gonna go to two wheel drive. Four by four goes away. Put it neutral here. We'll drive out of here. All right, let's see. One, thing, one other thing I wanted to do was uh, air conditioning here. Boom, boom, boom. Ice cold. Yep, boom. That all works perfectly. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, this truck is sweet. Um, extremely low mile Lariat with the bulletproof package on it. Holy cow. This is going to be very quick, so be ready with that deposit, people. Um, if you come to Tucson to drive this home, which you're obviously welcome to do, you should buy a trailer on the way home and pull it. Uh, this has got new tires and it's ready to roll. Um, if you do, you're going to pay the following. You're going to pay your state tax rate, whatever that would be, plus our city tax of 2.6% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it, okay? Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name uh, or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. Even scan in the envelope we mail it in. You will have the truck shipped to you. If you need help with that or you want it included in the price and help with it, uh, talk to Joey through our email system. Joey will help you and uh, get that done. But uh, we'll put that title in the mail. You'll have the title before the vehicle even shows up. And once the vehicle shows up by your shipper, uh, you'll just take the title you got in the mail and go get plates. It's real simple. Um, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Uh, this truck is crazy low miles. Very good condition. Aside from a little fading on the hood and on the roof, it's in great shape. Um, no blow by. This is it right here. It's going to be very popular. Okay, so please please be ready with your deposit. Last part of every video, I say I've been doing this for 13 years now. Um, you can watch any video we have online. Uh, last two or three minutes, I say the same thing. We don't have salesmen, so we don't have to pay them. They're not in the price of the vehicle. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge. We don't have a great zip code with high uh, property rates and stuff. That's the auto mall, which is about a mile that way. You saw where I just drove out of. So you're not paying for that either. So no salesman, no bottled water, no lounge, uh, uh, no zip code. Uh, you're also not paying for future repairs. At the uh, auto mall, they know if they sell you this truck and it breaks, you're gonna bring it back and want it fixed. Part of our success is not fixing vehicles after we sell them. Uh, we can't, we don't have the people, we don't have the time. We give you all this information, tell you what we know about it, good and bad, so you can make a good decision and be the owner on day one. Um, if you need a warranty, you gotta go buy a brand new one or buy a warranty, but it isn't from us, okay? We give you this stuff, this information and how we roll up front so you can make a decision. It's not for everybody. Um, if it's not for you, no harm feelings, but uh, you know, we have to tell people how we operate. Now, this truck, <laughs> braking, uh, probably not. But you never know. I mean, you, you just never know. I mean, every vehicle out here will break eventually. Um, you know, the $200,000 vehicles, uh, they break too, <laughs> you know? And uh, by the way, this road is horrible. This is a one-ton truck with some stiff suspension. No rattles, no vibrations, nothing going on here. This is a nice truck. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this thing out here for my brother to do some photos of. And uh, I think that's about it. And we're starting to get more room here, so prices are probably gonna rise a little bit, but we're still kinda packed, and this is a big truck, so you still might benefit from the fact that we need to move some things uh, to make some room. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you for your time.